good morning guys welcome back to the vlog welcome to my channel if you're new it is friday the 6th of october so we've officially basically had a whole week of october already autumn slash fall is well and truly here it's a gloomy day today which would typically mean that i would not want to leave the house but i'm in dire need of a few things firstly do you see the state of these nails? I need to head to the nail shop and that opens at 10. I've got 10 minutes basically. I just wanna quickly get ready and head there and hope that nobody's got super early appointments and I can just jump in and get my nails done. I took a photo. I'm thinking to go for like a deep, bloody burgundy kind of red, but we'll see. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking autumn vibes. There are a few things that need autumnifying, <laughs> autumnifying, I don't know, throughout the flat. So I'm thinking maybe we could take a trip to some of the home stores around here and just pick up a few bits to make the house feel more homey and cozy and autumnal. We've been so busy that um, we haven't had time to like really pay much attention to the flat. But now that we're here a bit more consistently, that is definitely the aim of the game. Let me not go off on a tangent. I'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna head to the nail shop because these, I'm embarrassed, okay? I have been absolutely obsessed with Benefits Benetint lately, especially on no makeup days. Like it just adds a little sun sun to your lips and your face. Looks so natural. It's the perfect product. I adore it. I'm still struggling to dress at the moment. So this is the outfit choice. So many essential parts of my outfits that don't fit me anymore that I can't make outfits anymore. So this is what I'm I've gone for. It's a bit of a weird day to dress because it's like super gloomy, but it's like 18 degrees. So it's quite like stuffy. So I'm just wearing these fleece trousers. I don't know if you can see the texture. From River Island, I just took the tag off. So I've obviously not worn these before. Elias May boots on, love them. Um, an old long sleeve top from weekday, leather bomber from Zara, and then this new Michael Kors bag that I got when I was working with them, and I actually love it. I think it's so cute, and it's such a good size as well. I've also got a smaller one in khaki. It's so nice. I'm going to head get these bad boys fixed up because they look horrendous. I do love this colour, though, but we're going to do we're going to try something new. I'm going to put my headphones in now because I am that awkward person that gets sensory overload and gets really bored at the nail shop so has to have like a podcast or something playing in me ears. So to avoid any awkwardness I'm going to put those in now so I don't have to put them in once I get there. Sweet! I'm going to head out. Hey yeah, Natasha. How are you? <laughs> I've arrived at Selfrages. I've got my nails done. They didn't have the exact colour I wanted, so I don't know how I'm feeling about it, but it's fine. Oh, got a little sneak peek there. We've arrived at the Trafford Centre. I've wrote this one. Me too. Coming and doing a bit of home wear and other bit shopping, and I'm very excited. Not me coming into Selfridges just to try on running sunglasses. <laughs> Morning guys, please ignore what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the same outfit I wore yesterday. I fell asleep, pretty much got carried to the bedroom. And no, not in that way. Get your mind out the gutter. I just passed out on the sofa yesterday. And if my boyfriend hadn't told me to get up and go to bed, I would still be lying on that sofa right now. Just having a little coffee. It is 9.22 in the morning. So about yesterday, Basically, it ended up being a really bad mental health day. So, you know, today's another day. We're gonna try again today. I did wanna show you guys my nails though. They're so pretty. At first, I wasn't sure because the color isn't exactly what I wanted because they'd run out of the shades I initially chose. But actually, upon reflection, I actually do really like them. I think they look so pretty. I kind of want to dye my hair more this color now, but we'll see about that. Yeah, we went to the Trafford Center yesterday, went into like two or three shops and then I basically had like an internal meltdown and I was like, let's go home get a couple of bits that i thought i'd show you there's a throw upstairs it's on the sofa right now but i will show you guys that later i've only got three things here but three things are better than nothing so i picked up this marble tray i just thought it was beautiful it could either go in a bathroom on a bedside table or i was thinking in the kitchen to put like you know like dish soap and stuff on it just so it's i don't know it's good to add like dimension, I feel like, in layers to your house. Like I feel like that's what makes a huge difference. Ew. This wrapping paper smells like puke. And then I saw this. Oh, do you know what though? I didn't realize, but the texture of it, kind of knocking me sick a little bit. 
um <laughs> but i thought this would be cool either again in a bathroom or as the dish soap dispenser on here could look kind of cute but i do feel like it's quite bathroomy so i'm not sure about this one but i do like it so i was like i'm just gonna pick it up i will be going on h&m home's website because there is so much on there i've got so many tabs open when i say that i'm not even joking i've probably got about 50 tabs open and i'm not even done like searching through the stuff and i also just picked up this little dish thing i thought it'd be cute like maybe on a coffee table or on a bedside table with like jewelry and bits in it or in a bathroom i don't know i just want some trinkety stuff to kind of make my house feel more homey those are the three bits and then i got a throw as well and imagine that came up to like a hundred and something pounds just for those few bits Chrissy. those are the pieces so i'm probably gonna figure out how to set those up at some point later on today but we're gonna do round two we're gonna try again we're gonna go to i think just like home sense and tk maxx in the arndale slash market street because i don't really get any like autumny bits i want to get like some cushions and just little bits and bobs that make it a bit more cozy do you know what i mean oh, Come for homeware, what are we doing? Getting the dog an outfit. <laughs> I like it. I like it. FYI, TK Maxx is the best place to come for like dog stuff, toys, balls. Oh, this is cute. Well, it looks like Home Sense is no longer there, so I'm being dragged into Sports Direct. I'm above. You don't have to get a nose job. Hey, I haven't told anyone yet. Well, now you know. Guys, for everyone asking where we get our jewelry from. Yeah, don't go Thomas Hubba, go here. <laughs> Look at my shopping bag. <laughs> what's going on with it at the moment been back home for a few hours just been doing some home bits dealing with the dog editing i've just put some pasta on now that i'm seated i thought i would do a quick haul of the stuff that we got today this is the throw from yesterday i don't think i showed you guys <laughs> i don't know it doesn't look that impressive but it's nice so we'll start in order tk maxx was rubbish there was nothing in there it was all basically christmas stuff already home sense is just across from tk maxx but it looks like it's shut down so that's sad. Also, Wilco's shutting down. Do you know how sad that makes me? So yeah, there wasn't really much in the Arndale. We just got the dog a little jumper, which we're yet to try on, but I will film that. Don't you guys worry. And then me being obsessed with like cleaning stuff, I got the Zaflora. This Zaflora in Violet and Mimosa. I feel like TK Maxx always do the best scents. I don't know if I should have said that. Maybe it's one for the gatekeepers. And then, okay, so we went to Flying Tiger. They had so many cute little Halloweeny bits. I didn't re really manage to find a lot of like autumnal stuff, but Halloweeny bits, very cool. Um, I had to pick up this tote bag. I had to. Pumpkin mug, very cute. It's so cute. It's the little things, guys, I tell ya. We then also picked up some candles. Basically, we're thinking of potentially having like a pre-drinks halloween celebration at ours and then going out somewhere so we've got to decorate but we kind of just want to decorate for the fun of it anyway spooky looking witchy looking candles there's also shorter ones so you can do like a little mix and match and then we got this like lighter beigey gray one and then this little ghost light how cute is that love it last but not least excuse me stop that right now a little pumpkin guy uh, is that it oh got some little decorative bats to stick along the walls i'm gonna test these out and if they're any good i'll probably get some more but i'll let you guys know very cute we've got some cobweb not sure we're gonna put this i'm thinking through that like wooden beamy bit in the gap you know what i mean in that gap but we shall see i wanted to get one of those um like spider web you know like the black lace like table runner kind of decorative thing but i didn't love the ones in flying tiger because they had bats and stuff on them i just want to get like a plain 
spiderweb we want. So yeah, I might have a look on Amazon for that. So we have got a few little, a few more little cute bits. Oh, we also picked up this. Well, it didn't all come together. This is so cute. Everything's from m &S. This gorgeous vase, I just love the color and the texture of it. I don't know how well you're gonna see the color in this lighting, but you'll see it throughout the vlogs. And then these are two separate ones. So we got these fake flowers really nice autumn colors and then this like pampasy grass type fake plant so still need to figure out where to put these i'm thinking down by the telly maybe but they are quite nice by the mirror guys in a couple of days i was working on sunday just getting vlog stuff done and then i had a migraine and then yesterday we had a flat inspection we finally got all of the rest of our stuff from our old flat and we handed the keys back so although the flat was like spotless there's now more boxes which is so annoying but it is what it is we're gonna go through that we're gonna put clothes on vintage because there's so many things that don't fit me anymore and we're just gonna get rid of stuff that we don't need anyway i've been up since five this morning got to the gym at 6 30 went to aldi which is right by my gym walked the dog and somehow it's half past 11. i don't know where the time goes like i don't understand how this happens i got up so early like how has it been what is that like five hours anyway i have to show you these look at these cute little squashes that i bought from aldi they are so beautiful i think i'm gonna use them for decoration for a little bit and then i probably will cook with them or maybe i'll get some more but how cute are they i need to figure out where to put them but i thought they'd be cute in the kitchen i'm just gonna put them here for now i need to eat i've not eaten anything apart from like a rice cake with pistachio cream i've just realized i haven't shared this with you guys on here i've shared it on instagram this stuff you guys i put it in my oats on a scone butter and then this on top i'll link it down below it's huge this pot as well i got it off of amazon and i think it's the best decision i've ever made in my life so <laughs> nutella literally has nothing on this it feels illegal to say that but you guys just need to try it it's bloody beautiful anyway i just wanted to say good morning i don't really know what the plan is today we were thinking of going to a pumpkin patch but apparently one of the better ones is open on saturday so i think we're going to do that then i didn't film the gym because when i got there surprisingly it was so busy and to be honest my anxiety has been through the roof lately so i'm just like just trying to like just trying to survive getting through things at the moment oh i'm tired oh my god also for those of you guys that <laughs> hate the fact that our fridge is so small yeah it's a bit shit but it is just a fridge there is also a whole big freezer here freezer <laughs> fridge but we did end up getting like a wine fridge but we've put drinks and some food bits in there so for those of you that were like super bothered by the fridge i hope that makes you feel better <laughs> i got these really cute little containers from amazon i thought they were going to be a lot bigger but actually they are perfect for like desserts and overnight oats and stuff so i've put a bit of protein powder in there hello i don't know if that's a good idea because every time i do it i hate it but i really want to get more protein in because it's just good when you're training so i'm gonna give this one a go hopefully it's okay i didn't put a full scoop i don't even think i put half a scoop because i just cannot bear it like the texture and the taste the aftertaste but i'm gonna give it a go my appetite has been really bad lately so i just want to be able to eat it you know what it's not bad Good boy. Tip. Good boy. Oh. Wow. Good boy. How are we? Let me take these off. I'm back home, showered. That was a good gym session. Also, can we talk about how elite that color combo is in the Honor Active set that I'm wearing? Like, 
beautiful i'll link it down below i think honor active is officially my all-time favorite gym wear it's just elite it really is as you guys can see the temperature has dropped drastically over the last couple of days so i am wrapped up in my dressing gown i'm so cold i have more autumn -y bits however i'm not going to bore you with another haul because we've done two of those already in this video i'll see you guys in the next vlog where we can put up all that new stuff together so you'll get to see it then and kind of decorate the house a little bit more the next vlog should be pretty fun so stay tuned for that i shall see you then I'm very excited thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this chill at home autumn -y vibes vlog i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video until next time bye Mwah.